Stepping, beating three or four players. He's stepping up the right. He's beat the whole team. He's a genius, Blake. And this young bloke, this Doonside junior, in his second game in first grade, has scored a try. From league of their own to first grade rugby league, this week's cut of Freddy's fresh meat is young Penrith utility Blake Austin. And I caught up with Blake after the Panthers lost to the Rabbitohs on Sunday afternoon. How do you feel like coming out here? This is now your life, is it? Just, just yeah. what you always wanted? Just what I wanted to play. And it's a bit disappointing we couldn't, couldn't keep the fans happy. We've lost twice now here, so um, just stick with us and we're only going to get better, I guess. But yeah, just, just love playing out here, mate. I've got plans to sort of raise my kids around this area, so I like, I like the area. Have you got, so. What have you got? A little one-year-old. So little one-year-old? That's his name? Uh, Carter, little boy. He's better looking than his dad, so <laughs> yeah, no, he'll be good, mate. How hard's the train? How hard's, how hard's pre-season? It's just a matter of doing it every, like, training your best every time you turn up. As opposed to 20s, you can sort of coast through a little bit more and still still come out on the weekend and play well. What about all the stuff that goes with footy? Just learning that you, to turn up every week and and, and perform well every week. you got to do, do all the little things, so, yeah, slowly getting there. Things like diet and that kind of stuff, I've got a bit of a way to go yet, so. Pretty, pretty keen on the old takeaway. Pretty, so. <laughs> How far did you go in school? I was always capable enough, just, just sport always came first. Bit of a class clown and that. Mum would tell you all the, all the, the parents teachers, she did the same thing every year. <laughs> Blake's a capable student but doesn't apply himself. <laughs> so. Did you see it as a kid that he was going to be this good? Um, he's always shown something special and he's always had a passion for footy from the time he could walk. Um, but it's a long road, so, um, yeah, we've believed in him. Who are the role models at the club? I look guys like Louis and that kind of stuff and their professionalism is just, just second to none and, yeah, just try and, try and learn off guys like that. Uh, good to see a young guy who's a, a junior, uh, you know, a junior that's come through the ranks and, uh, you know, to be here and, you know, trying to sort of follow the same footsteps and uh, mate, I think he's got the right head on his shoulders, he's got a good family behind him and um, I think that's all you need to uh, succeed. I found him to be very, very ambitious, he knows where he wants to get to. Um, he's a bit different, you know, he's, he's certainly he's pretty green and there's a long way to go but he's, uh, he looks like a footy player, uh, he wants to be one and um, I, I, I've got high hopes for him. I think he's definitely going to be a player of the future and I'm glad he's at our club, not someone else's. You see little kids sort of sticking their hands out, and it wasn't wasn't that long ago that I was one of those kids, and yeah, just just loved it. I come from a footy man family, and yeah, just love me footy. Nice work, Freddie. Keep it up, Freddie. Fresh meats and uh, good little player there in in. Black.